Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest, very new, Atari games. And tonight, I am very happy to say we have the exclusive world premiere of 1942 for the 7800. Let's put that up. Oh my god, it's so exciting. Yeah. Oh, one of my favorite games has come to the 7800. Oh my god, it's a perfect <laughs> matchup for this game too. Uh, it is by Paul Lay, also known as Playsoft on okay. the Atari forums. Nice. Did the code and Konstantinos uh, Giamalidis, also known as TIX, much easier to say, uh, who did the graphics. Nice. First, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers. <laughs> Down the side there, Arena Foot, Arkham H, Arbscar, Code, Atari 800, XL, Rules, Atari 1974, Atari Age, Atari Patch Quest, BR Poke Up, Buck Owens, Captain Man 2D, Charles Chance Dolls, Charles Donnie Mao, Charles and Check, Charles Will and Colonel Lama, <laughs> Cubitismo, Dan VC, Drexel, Dr. Moo Cows, Emu Dan, Gopher, Man, Dre Defender, Ground Trooper, Johnny W. Carl G, Ken Jennings, Invader, Lambda Express, Lauren T D Z, Mark Yandis, Mark Space, Egg Metal Atari, Mick Muse, Mike Soul, Mike Cladell, Miss Command, Mr. Zarnu, Mr. Fix, Nathan Storm, Nostalgic Packer, VG Coog, R and RC70, Render Ghost, Pellas, V Ricardo Pim, Six Sweet, Spade B, Spice Sword, Hesmer's the D Train, the Lost Cartridge, Welsh Man, Thrust 26, Tiki Dan K, Teetfos, TM Events, Trek M D, 2600 X Can X. <sighs> That's a mouthful. Good job. Uh, if you want to support the show and get your name on the list, you just hit subscribe. It's he free with Amazon Prime. There's a little checkbox or whatever. Uh, so let's get to the mail news and feedback. No mail. Uh, but we did have some feedback about the cats. The cats. Bad feedback. These cats? Negative. You guys Negative are getting feedback? written, written, <laughs> You're getting written up. Yep. Written up. Your annual review yes. is up. No. And no. it's not looking good for it's you. It's not looking good at all. <laughs> uh, Mr. T Bone SF uh, yeah. from YouTube yeah. says I think the reason Atari has a problem hitting the bell uh, hard enough is that he's a lefty. Yeah. And you keep putting the bell far off to his right mm. side. So he has to kind of cross <clears throat> over and he doesn't have enough leverage. To be clear, they do have the ability to move <laughs> around the bell. <laughs> they do. But we can try that this time we'll try. and place it to his left and see if it gets any More to easier. his left, yeah. Oh, will they get fired? If, if you put the bell no. more towards the middle of the floor, he can yeah. reach it easier with his left paw. Okay, oh. we'll try that out. It's, will that work for you better, Tom? Yeah. He says, yes, yes. Yeah. Carl G says, will they get fired? Mm, no. They're on probation. Yeah. <laughs> probation it's 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 forever probation for them yeah i mean yeah. this guy's not even a year old so he's definitely still on probation oh, yeah <laughs> so he's he hasn't getting... hit his uh yeah his year so uh this was posted yesterday it looks like we might get oh one second an 8-bit uh atari 8-bit computer version Ooh. of uh cybernoid which okay. uh is very much like uh, EXO. Oh, okay. EXO was uh, inspired by Cybernoid. Nice. Uh, Pop Milo posted, so I think the experiment is successful. Small demo of a sprite routine on Atari 8 bit bitmap simulated using six character sets to get one more potential color using fifth color in character mode. Sprites are drawn and erased using the EOR operator. This simplifies interacted with the background with small artifacts where the sprites go over the background. Routine is not 50 same frames per second with anything more than six sprites, but even with 32 sprites, it handles it nicely. Not even looking that slow because all the mo objects moving on the screen at once. There are 18 sprites on the screen, 12 by 16 multicolor pixels, large in four colors. Um, so let's uh, take a look at that. So there you can see lots of cybernoid chips flying around with music wow. as well. Very cool. Um, what did he say? Music is from C64 Cybernoid. I, I think that was just overlaid on top. So, nice. So look look at that. Um, lots nice. of sprites on this that screen. That is a lot of sprites. <laughs> Probably more than enough. <laughs> more than needed. Maybe if there's like a something big or something very detailed that mm. needs to move there might be some issues but it looks really nice mm -hmm. um and it would be a, a very awesome uh, game to have on the atari 8-bit so looking very forward to that mm -hmm. um and that is it for the news which is great because we have to get to the game because <laughs> it is awesome and i set aside the whole show for it yes because and i want to play lots of it oh thank you for following opcode games Ding. they make ColecoVision games oh nice 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 
which they uh, might play a factor in coming up on a show. Oh. We'll see. Little hint there. That is a hint. I mean, I already talked about it. But. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so. I'm going to get you. <gasps> uh, this this? Was, this game was first uh, posted, announced with my announcement mm -hmm. of the uh, uh, exclusive world premiere of the game, so two days ago, and this build is from two days ago. Mm -hmm. uh, it is a 256k game, which is really big and is not supported on the concerto car yet, Oh, okay. but it's supposed to be in the future. So right now, yeah, I'll, I'll list where we can play it, but we're going to be playing it on the Dragonfly, but I'll get into the, more of the details later. Um, it's made by Playsoft and uh, TIX. Playsoft uh, also made Atari Blast, Biscuits in Hell, uh, Blow Sub, Floyd the Droid Goes Blasting, Freeway Ace slash Grand Prix, uh, Galaga, these are all for Atari 8-bit. Mm. Um, also, Moon Patrol Redux, Runner Bear, Scramble for the Atari 8-bit, and 5200, Sprong, Star Rider, Str Strictly Gone Bananas. And uh, TAX has done graphics on, of course, 1942, mm -hmm. 8-bit Strike, Blocks, Cosmic Cabby, that's coming up. Nice. Uh, Dragon Master, which we uh, previewed on the show a little bit. La Baie, La, La Baie, oh, you'll have to say that one. La Baie des Morts. Yes, La Baie des Morts. <laughs> uh, the Lady, uh, Prince of Persia, of course, we showed that in the show. Robin Banks for the 5200, which is a game coming out soon. And also Wonder Boy. Um, this game is not available yet, but it will be soon. We'll get to that. Um, so let's just refresh. Oh, we're not very big, are we? Let's just refresh ourselves of where this game came from and what it looked like in the arcade. Nice. Um, so we get... Ooh, versions comparison. These yeah, are always fun. These are fun. So yeah. we get a handle on what kind of what it looks nice. like in a bunch of different Ooh, systems. Wow. And what different systems they were able to And we played this in it. the arcade. I know we oh, played yeah. this multiple times. Many times. It's fun yeah. in the arcade. It is. It is a good arcade game. Um... So it looks great. It has really, really high resolution graphics. Mm -hmm. um, and as a vertical game, mm. the game we'll be playing in most home ports are horizontal. They've had to make compromises and changes um, just so they can get enough detail so they're not squishing it like really, really small, uh, including this one. Obviously, it's not a vertical. No, no tape mode. Is that what it's called? <laughs> Where you turn the screen sideways. I, I think oh, I only know yeah. of one game that uses that, that is Merlin's Walls oh, on the 2600. On the 2600. Where you turn your monitor oh, 90 that's degrees. Hilarious. But I haven't heard of any other 7800 or 2600 games. Anyway, this is this is the arcade. A lot of people nice. are familiar with that. Yes. Uh, this is the often maligned NES, NES version. Ooh, it looks it, junky. It deserves it. It has really terrible sound super chunky it is very uh, chunky movement like i don't know 10 frames a second 15 mm -hmm. it's really bad and there's plenty of glitches as well mm. um due to sprite overload like you can see it there when the sh uh, when the, the plane flies oh, through yes, that plane yeah there's just not enough um sprites on a line that can be drawn on the nes mm. so there's lots of cutting in and out um commodore 64 this is the one I know growing up and I played at home. Amazing music, of course. Yeah, I can I can hear it already. <laughs> yeah, let me yeah. just turn that up. Uh, beautiful, beautiful music. Um, and very smooth um, playability. Mm. It's it's quite a decent version, I I think anyway. Uh, it's very wide though like excessively wide gotcha and they even put the like the score at the top making it even less vertical um but you know it's a choice uh this is for the amstrad cbc obviously i'm not uh too familiar with that good colors but very chunky super chunky which maybe makes it easier i don't know uh one for the zx spectrum very low color it's it's mono apparently <laughs> except for no explosions and bullets still chunky not super smooth but a lot of these really low uh inexpensive uh computer systems had really kind of slow games especially like the zx spectrum um this one's pretty chunky too msx it depends MSX. how they uh, recorded it as well uh, yeah, that's true. That that's true. Yeah, uh, MSX two. Oh, uh, 
that's, that that's looks looking a lot pretty good. more like the arcade. Yeah, that's really quite good. Yeah. Yep, smooth scrolling, smooth play playing. I'm not familiar with the MSX2 or its capabilities. Obviously, way more advanced than the MSX. Um, the ZX Spectrum looks smoother <laughs> than some of the others, says Carl G. Yeah. Oh. Fujitsu Micro 7. What? FM7. Not wow. super familiar with this one. No, super and it is super chunky. chunky. Look at that pow move its way down the screen. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> chunky, chunk, chunk. Yep. Uh, NEC PC88 looks pretty much the same. I, they're probably share similar um, architecture. Sharp 1, 1987. Ooh, very slow. This is... Unless the emulation's bad, this is almost unplayable. Like, it's really slow. Um, and then you get into modern ones that are more than capable of playing the game and emulating. Uh, Sega uh, Saturn, uh, PlayStation. They look very similar. Java version. Java? <laughs> um, nice. Jack specific. 2005. I don't know what system that's on. Maybe it's on various systems. PlayStation Portable. Obviously very good. J2ME. This is like a very... Very upscaled, very, very different. Upscale. Yeah. Uh, Android. That looks like it plays too fast, actually. <laughs> um, oh, I can't play games on the on the phone. It's no, just too hard to control. I, not games like this. And another Android. Nice. As well. Very nice. Um, so there's kind of the rundown of um, current versions. Official versions. Yeah. Um, so. I didn't know this until I was started to research it. This is where the theme music comes from. It's a movie oh. um, called 633 Squadron. Um, and the person who posted this didn't get flagged for it. So I think we should Crossing be able to get fingers. away with it. Just don't play too much of it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I'm pretty confident. Okay. Uh, so it looks like quite a, a, it's a war an movie. older film. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 1940. Oh, I don't know what year this was from. But there's the music. 633 Squadron. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 -da. So good. It's funny how the video game music has eclipsed the movie music to the point where people don't know it's <laughs> from a movie. Yeah, exactly. I've never heard of 633 Squadron. It probably wasn't a huge hit. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, but I don't know. But I mean, catch, there are a oh, lot. 1963. 1963. There we go. Uh, the person who posted it says it's one of my all-time favorite war, war movies. movies. Yeah. Uh, it can only be described as one of the best theme tunes ever composed. Interesting. I. That's a really good theme music, that's yeah. for sure. Yeah, neat. Yep, 1963. Hmm. Um, and then, of course, oh, we already played the... Oh, my God. How do we get out of this? There we go. Um, so, there we go. Hmm. That's uh, that's the preamble you need to know. Huh. Everything you, you need to know about 1942. <laughs> well, no. uh, different versions of it anyway. Yeah. So, the uh, I looked it up. The arcade game takes approximately one hour to play through. From beginning to end? Beginning to end. Wow. If, if you don't die. and Because mm. it moves at a constant pace. Mm. Right? You can't true. slow down or That's speed true. You up. can't speed it up. No. So, good luck to us. Yeah. We've set aside two hours. <laughs> so, we'll see. <laughs> Um, and uh, yeah, we're not gonna have, we're gonna have to not die too. So that's, that's the other aspect. That's right. So, is everybody ready? Play it, play it, play it. Says Esther Ramirez. <laughs> <laughs> Exclusive world premiere of 1942. Okay, let's get to it on the Dragonfly. <laughs> oh, Here we Me go. Ready. 
1942. Nice. So go to the options, please. So we have uh, auto fire or arcade, which is manual fire. Uh, so go auto. Okay. Um, there are three different uh, color sets. Um, so we'll go with Trebor to start with. That's sure. the default. Okay. Um, I believe there's three different <clears throat> difficulties. So there's pilot, commander, and novice. So I would say for you to plan novice. Yeah. Yes. I'm not going to make it through. Uh, go for oh. five. Five lives. Okay. Um, if you don't have the Atari Vox okay. plugged in, um, I believe it gives you the option of one or two sticks, but we have the Atari Vox plugged in for saving high scores. Okay, so one stick. One stick. Okay, And 10 um, continues. Sure, Ooh. not infinite. Infinite. Because I'll play the infinite one. I'll just do 10 for 10 it. is fine. You'll, you'll, you can play. And you can pick between audio full and just the sound effects. If... Nice, if, you, if you're getting irritated by the music. <laughs> I mean, yes. even good music, if you're if it's just a constant rotation, I get it. I yes. get it. Yeah. Hey, Bratwurst. Hey. Uh, yeah, I can understand the music. Mm -hmm. uh, some people don't want the music and just want to hear what's going on. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so let's go to exit. And we will just play one, one? player. I have I'll a play lot one. to you'll read get a out. Lot, you'll get a lot further anyway. So. Need to tell them how the music is done on this. Oh. I have... Um, a lot. <laughs> so much information <laughs> to read out. So, yeah, I've right. got a lot of information. So, should I start? Uh, yes, let's go for it. Here we go. Ready, player one. Okay, hold down the button to fire. And I don't believe it cuts out for um, sound effects, so we'll also listen to it with the sound effects. So, play defensively, avoid the bullets. Yes. And the plant. Okay, um, so 1942 uh, is a vertical scrolling shooter game made by Capcom that was released for the arcades in 1984. Designed by Yoshiki Okamoto, ah! it was the first game in the 194X series, and it was followed by 1943 Battle of the Midway, which is an amazing game. Can't shoot? No. Okay, that's... There you go. That's right, yep. Uh, 1942 is set in the Pacific Theater of World War II and is loosely based on the ma Battle of Midway. Despite the game being created by Japanese developers, the goal is to reach Tokyo and destroy <laughs> the Japanese air fleet. Which is kind of hilarious. Which is very yeah. <laughs> strange. Yeah. Um, this was due to being the first Capcom game designed with Western markets in mind. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm not doing very well. Shoot and avoid. Just go avoid. Go ahead. Go ahead. I haven't played uh, in a while. It's good we have continues. Uh, it went on to becoming commercial success in arcades, becoming Japanese fi Japan's fifth highest growing table arcade of 1986, one of top five highest grossing arcade conversion kits that year in the United States. It was part of the NES, selling over one million copies worldwide. How do I reset? Uh, it'll just say continue. Reset? Yeah. Why do you want to reset? Because someone said you, ch you chose music only, no sound effects. Oh, what? Yeah, it's game over. It's game over. Oh, okay. I'll just let it go. Thank you, GL Haynes, 79. <laughs> I'm not sure how we picked that. Yeah. Okay. Oh, was there an option for music and I... sound effects? Audio, it said music. None. Full. Full. Okay, oh, okay, there we go. Thank you. I wonder we couldn't hear it. Uh, let me just double check the options. Oh, that's fine. No, you press the button. Excellent. Uh, Thank you. The Don't player. Know how we chose that. So. The player pilots a Lockheed P-38 light, uh, Lightning, dubbed the Super Ace. Now there's. Now there's a little rumble there. Yeah, I was like, what the hell? Makes sense. Yeah. It's not very very loud though the sound effects. Well, I've turned down the, the audio so they don't get double as well. Well. Yeah. Um. Uh, the player has to shoot down enemy planes to avoid enemy fire. The player can perform a roll or vertical loop during the game. The player must collect a series of power ups. You all know. Uh, let's get to what this game is about. Um, so, I was on the beta testing team for the past uh, two or so months, um, and, and play- Come on, play better! No, keep talking, <laughs> keep talking, don't let me interrupt you. Play defensively! Defensively. I love those bullets. 
to stay off the bottom of the screen because things come up from it. That's true. I always forget. Um, so, uh, PlaySop messaged me on August 18th and other testers. Uh, he said, over the last year, TIX and myself have worked on a conversion for of 1942 for the 7800. You have all mentioned 1942 as a title you'd like to see on the 7800. And it was on my, get that pal, for um, <clears throat> my wish list Okay. Um, for a while. And now it exists on the 7800 and 2600, so I'm super, super happy. Um, uh, so I was wondering if any of you would like to be uh, be interested in playtesting it. <sighs> Just avoided. Oh. oh my god. Trying to dodge things. Transfixed on the bullet. I know. Going right towards it. Um, so options for playing this game. Um, for testing on real hardware, you'll need a dragonfly cart. It is a 256k ROM. Uh, unfortunately, the concerto firmware doesn't support ROMs over 144 at the moment. I'm told it runs on Mister and it will run under emulation on A7800, JS7800, and BUP system. So it is planned to be supported uh, games uh, bigger than 144K on the uh, Concerto in the future, but just not right now. Um, firmware is pending. Uh, and it's also been tested on the 7800 game drive upcoming from Saint as well. So, um, because the Dragonfly is not available anymore and probably won't be available anymore, keep everybody keep a watch for the 7800 game drive and um, we will be showing that off on the show when it's ready. There's still, um, Saint is still working on it. There's lots to be done um, because it also has an RGB out, has 2600 compatibility as well and 7800. So there's a lot to do on that. Uh, yes, it is Yamaha as well. James needs to adjust the vo audio trimmer on the FM on his Dragonfly. Oh my god. I'll have to open that up. <laughs> it's not too bad of a mix. You can hear the sound effects. Yeah, it's not it's very loud, but it is there. So I think the sound effects are done on the Pokey, and the music is done on the Hawaiian ship. So, difficulty settings are novice pilot and commander, and they affect the firepower of your P-38 and the small enemy planes. Mm. Uh, pause, pauses the game, reset, goes back to the title screen. Uh, there's three color options, uh, TIX, Trevor, and Daryl. Uh, Daryl uses, uh, uses an RF out, so uh, the colors were very dark on his screen, so they're a little bit brighter. So, they may be renamed when it gets uh, released. To like dark, light, or you know, appropriate mm. names, um, so people with different um, screens can see it better. Can, can play play with how they like them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, Sorry. Uh, for dodgy. audio and music, the game uses the YM2151 for the music. So, if played on the A700 emulator, you should use the XM expansion module option. You seem to run from the bullets rather than dodge around bullets. Well, no, no, it's not. I'm not. It's not the bullets. It's that I'm trying to hit the planes. Oh. Okay. So I'm floating with the planes, but sometimes that means I'm going in the same direction as the bullets. If you uh, know what I mean. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, the JS that's, that's seventy eight hundred emulator automatically supports the YM two one five one. So if you don't have a Dragonfly cart, you can still emulate this game on uh, the. A7800 or drop it into uh, the web browser on uh, JS7800 so you can play it, uh, emulate it as well. How much work is left to finish is finished already. It is very near finished. Um, I don't know if any of the devs are in here because they... Yeah, you made it! Is that the first level? No, second. Okay. <laughs> um, because they live in a time zone that is not very um, comparable to our 6 p.m., unfortunately. Um, and there's some testers in the chat as well, so they can they can fill in. Uh, Tanya beats me at every single game. This <laughs> well, is no exception. I don't know. <laughs> Rod Castler says so. Uh, I am playing on novice, to be very clear, <laughs> and I'm finding it challenging on novice. So I can't imagine Commander it's must not just that much be harder. overwhelming. Like yeah, it's not. It's You're running from the bullets I, again. I, <sighs> being a cartoon character. That's true. I am Watch kind of, I do get kind of spooked by them. I'm like, ah, run away, run away! Oh, you lost your firepower. It's okay. It'll, it'll, I'll get it. You'll get it. Ah, 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 <laughs> ah, 
Um, this also runs on the runs on the BUP system, and in theory, other emulators that don't support YM2151, but no music uh, using the BUP system. So, not sure why you want to use that as your emulator. For some reason, I don't know if it's um, more of. Oh, that oh, was a good thing. Oh, I, that scared me. But I they're all it was vulnerable. For me. Oh, you don't no. die when they get hit. No, but you just your use ship. Them. You will die if your ship gets hit. Um, but they'll just disappear. Yeah. So you're more fair. vulnerable, but you also have tons more firepower. Yeah, firepower um, is nice. Uh, on the Mister, the TIA is much louder. Or is this using TIA for? Uh... Ah, ah, right in the middle. Good shot. <sighs> uh, on the Mister, the TIA is much louder than the YM2151, so we can't cannot control the mixing level, so I added audio options so you can choose just to have sound effects or music. So if the emulator you're using um, is too loud or not compatible very well with one or the other, then you can turn one or the other off. Um, so when, he says, when I started on it, I wasn't really keen on the arcade background music, so the C64 music was used instead which is indeed an arrangement of the theme music of the film 633 Squadron. A year later, and I don't mind the original arcade music as much, so it could be configurable which background music plays, which he didn't uh, implement. I did use the flugel horn in the original music, but I can use a whistle, which is more in keeping with the arcade. Yeah. No. no. Flugelhorn. Oh, really? the whistle is so bad. It's just tweet, 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 yeah. tweet, tweet, tweet. It oh, drives right me up it. the wall. Um... Yeah, so I'm really glad he didn't uh, choose something that sounded like the whistle. Which I've been told somewhere I read that it's actually um, Morse code? It's to emulate Morse code? I'm not sure if that's real or not. Oh, you beat me. Good job. Did your score continue with your continues? I oh, didn't do any continues. No continues? Oh, okay. I didn't do any continues. Um... The C64 music was converted from the, uh, uh, is three minutes long, and as a level takes about two minutes to play, you don't usually hear the end part, uh, which I think is the only thing missing. Looking at the C64 version, it seems to last about 50 seconds, so I presume you only hear the t full music on the title screen. Or if you spend two minutes fighting the Ayoko. Yes. Ayako. Ayako. So, pseudo graphics, yes. The button does do. Oh, yes, the looping. The looping, which. Because it's a. 7800 and has two buttons. Yes. Um, but to say uh, the 2600 also has looping if you use the Genesis controller. Yes, on the that's second true. Button. That is wow, right into it. Right into it. Boom. Object right fixation. <laughs> that's what that's called. I get, you know. It... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, like in that uh, episode of Bob's Burgers when Tina's driving the car. <laughs> Tina, just steer just left steer or right. Just steer left or right. Uh, yeah, it's true. That is me playing crash. games like this. Yeah. <laughs> that is the best episode. You have to watch that episode. <laughs> Tina learns to drive a car. Yeah. She's in an empty parking lot. She's except moving. For one car. She's moving at one mile, a mile an hour. <laughs> and there's one car in the lot and she runs into it. <laughs> yes. Yes, you're yes. absolutely so, absolutely right. That's yep. exactly what I'm doing. Um, Leaning into it. Trevor added about this a YM2151, which is uh, the chip in the uh, Dragonfly, can sound convincingly like a YM2149F, which sounds very similar to the AY38910 that is used in the part of 1942 arcade hardware, which is partly why he wanted to use uh, the Yamaha chip. Mm. because it's very similar to the Yamaha sound chip in the arcade machine. Rod Kessler uh, noticed that the instrument panels at the top... Yes, they re move. ...react... Yes, they do. ...to your movement. Yeah, it is very, very cool. And in one of the builds, um, oh, gosh. there was an instrument panel that actually fired as well, that showed the fire movement, but it was oh. way too distracting because you're firing all the time in this game, so it would just, just constantly go. So it was just a bit too much, but uh, the rest of the panels are, are, are nice, because they don't move too much, because you're going back and forth, forward and back. It's a nice little addition. <laughs> oh my god, took out the plane with but, one of your planes. Well, it's okay. Could have been Didn't worse. kill me. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to stay at the bottom. You want to stay up just I know, it's, a it's little It's very bit. true. You want, to, you want to be able to see what's coming up. And have enough coming time for reaction. You. Yeah. yeah. You're getting better. Which is good. Well, I must, I must um, so that. gameplay. Um, these are. Um, this is all uh, information 
from uh, um, oh, oh, okay. Mm-hmm. It's all information from Playsoft um, that I'm reading. Um, I tried to follow the arcade game as closely as I can, but there are restrictions on the 7800, which means I'll have to do some things differently. Um, because of the restricted screen sp- space, I made some of the enemy players uh, playing slightly slower, and I gave the P38 more firepower by default. Mm. Um, I like oh, the yeah, I wanted fire. to finish with pseudo graphics. Um, yeah. It looks pretty good. How much is left to finish it, or is it finished already? I believe all of the gameplay is finished. Oh my god. And. Um, but uh, they're tweaking some of the graphics. TIX is tweaking some of the graphics that he wanted to uh, mm-hmm. make just a little bit better. Oh my god. But it's probably one of those things that's like, oh, you know, an artist is never finished. Yeah. So it's like, it looks amazing. Oh, it's not quite done yet. Yeah. It's not quite done. Uh, and everyone's so. like, it really? <laughs> yeah, exactly. It looks pretty done. Ah! Um, when sequencing the levels, I sometimes needed a longer gap between medium and large enemy planes. The graphics for those are stored in different banks, so they cannot appear on the screen together. Uh, this may have changed because this was initial information. Uh, there was a couple of red enemy bonus plane formations where all ten planes were in a horizontal row. This causes problems when they appear in a level with background planes because 10 background tiles plus 10 enemy planes completely fills the display list. So these formations only appear in the percentage and points up stages, which don't have a background. Mm. Alternative formations are used in other stages, but no, noticeable uh, being a big circle. So some levels have been slightly adjusted so that uh, more planes can go on the screen at once. Oh, damn. They turn around. Oh, oh Um... On the arcade game, the Yashichi first appears after shooting down 320 enemy planes. It subsequently reappears each time you shoot down another 256 geez, enemy geez. planes. Oh, I just totally squished in the corner. There. I more or less do the same thing, except in order to prevent any graphics overloading, they only launch at specific points in each level. So it may occur a bit later than the arcade, as it has to wait for the next launch point. Uh, the red bonus planes, medium planes, and large bomber planes are all individually sequenced pretty much in sync with the arcade game. The small green and white planes are not individually sequenced. For those, I have commands in the level sequence data that indicate their type and maximum number that can be on the screen at a time. They are then launched and positioned randomly. So adjusting the ma- Is that your, uh, fire button? Hmm? Hand? Oh, they're both My hand. Tense. No, okay. my, my fire button hand. Okay. <laughs> Uh, would it be possible and desirable to use Flickr to display more planes or types of planes? I, th- I think a lot of 7800 developers don't want any Flickr whatsoever, and they try and minimize that. Um, so I, you don't v- see Flickr in 7800 games very often, at least not homebrew games, because the 7800 is a a fairly capable machine, mm. uh, especially in terms of things on the screen at a time. And a lot of people compare it to the NES, which has a lot of Flickr and a lot of games. And I think they just want to stay away from Flickr, distinguish yeah. themselves that, oh, the 7800 is pretty kick ass and it can make games just as good, if not better, than the a- NES in a lot of ways. So I think a lot of them avoid Flickr. And I, I would tend to agree that if you can do it without Flickr, all the better. Um, but you never know. There could be Flickr in upcoming games because they want to just overload the screen like crazy. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Oh, it's back. Ha-ha. Oh, it came back. Um, yeah, that... Oh, gosh. That is... Ivory Tower Collection says that might be my TIA chip that is cutting out the joystick control mm. for, a sec- for a second that I have to plug in and back. Um, I'm curious if the background ocean is character graphics or just more sprites. Uh, that would have to be something answered by TIX. So that'd be a good one to pose in the, uh, oh, oh, keep continuing. I'll keep going. Or you can start over on the hard level because I'll be taking over soon. Uh, you can take over on the hard level. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm enjoying the novice level. Okay. I'm making some headway. It's not good. terrible. Not good. terrible. Yeah. These are, I don't play a lot of these kinds of games, so Shooters. it takes a little while to get into I f- the feel of them. Yeah, each and game's then different. You, and, then, and then you run immediately into it. Like, ow! Um, instruments at the top, uh, it says, we did have an instrument showing shots, but it was deemed too distracting, especially with autofire. 
Uh, saving. Uh, I've added save key support on port 2. It must be present when you boot the game, so it cannot be dynamically inserted or removed. Um, and you can set the high scores back to default if you hold down the reset and pause while booting the game. Uh, this way there's less chance of being done by accident and it feels like you're doing a control alt delete. And it does, because you have to press down three buttons at once. Good job, clearing the screen. That was a clear pal, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> clear the screen pal? Clear the screen pal. Oh, Those are you want nice. more firepower though. I do, but I do like the clear the screen That is screen nice. Pals. I think that's a red one. Uh, the they do look a little different, but I'm not sure exactly what yeah. they are. I haven't been paying too much attention. Well, I'm like, pal, get it. <laughs> switch, I will give you a hints page and you can explain oh. what each of the things right. are, the power ups. Um, so, in terms of release, um, Playsoft says it's unlikely to be released for a couple of weeks as there's okay. some more non-gameplay tweaks being done. Okay. Yeah. Um, and I have the full... I'm going to read out the full credits. Okay. Um, just in case we don't make it to the end, which we will because it has continues. Uh, we may not make it, it to the end help. on one game, but uh, with continues, we'll definitely make it to the end. Yeah. Uh, oh, definitely. Yeah. I think you... Probably do pretty well. Uh, I'm pretty good, and I want to do it on the hard version so we see everything. See the all the all the all the difficulty, the all the planes on the screen. Hardcore shooting. Yep. Yeah. Um, designer, original designer, Yoshiki Okamoto, uh, composer Ayaka Mori, uh, code by PlaySoft, graphics by TIX, uh, testing and colors, Daryl 1970 and Trevor. Uh, testing. Uh, Wongo Jack, Zero Page Homebrew, Jaden, uh, JRH, uh, Crossbow, and S. Ramirez 2008, TIA Sound Effects Library, so the TIA is doing the sound effects, uh, Revenge, and uh, TIA Chip is more than capable of doing sound effects like mm. shooting, explosions, it actually has built in things for like mm. white noise. <laughs> Um, Opco Games says, as far as I know, there's no distinction between character, background graphics, and sprites on the 7800. That's why the better your background, the fewer sprites you can use, and vice versa. I wish I knew more about programming the 7800. That cleared. Oh, nope. I thought that cleared the screen. That's just, just for points. points. I'm in a corner. Get out of the get corner. Get out of the corner. The corner is where you get, you get caught. Corner's not good on Galaga or this game. No. Yeah, you're exactly correct. Yeah. Um, arcade game info, Agar Moose, A-G-E-R, Agar Moose. Maybe it's Anger Moose without the end. Uh, hardware support, Marauder 666 and Juan Solo. Mm -hmm. And Dragonfly support, RJ1307 and Eagle. And 7800 7, game drive support, Saint. So, now I am going to take over in a second Are you? after you die. Are you going to take over? I am. So in the 19- Maybe I'll make it to the end. You never know. Good. Give it another hour. <laughs> ah, there we go. <laughs> uh, in the 1940X series, there's 1942, okay. which was put out in 1984. Mm -hmm. 1943 Battle of Midway in 87, 1943 KAI, 1988, 1941 Counterattack in 1990, 19XX The War Against Destiny in 1996, 1944 The Loop Master in 2000, 1942 Joint Strike in 2008, 1942 First Strike in 2010. James wants to play both so bad. Yeah, he does. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Time to flip the auto fire switch. Uh, characters are indirect mode and sprites are direct mode. So there is characters and sprites. Gotcha. And I'm guessing all the planes are sprites and all the backgrounds. Oh, there's a lot on the screen. There is a lot on the screen. So I will open up the wiki for you. I will end this stage because I think I have oh, like have 10 continues. Well, I have 10 continues. Well, so. yeah, yeah that's what I mean. Those are. <laughs> I also have the information from the uh, arcade manual as well. Um, I don't know how quickly, how well they followed this. Uh, extra power. Um, touching a power up. Why does it say planes? Okay. Okay. It was wanted time pilot for 7800, but this is better. Ooh, time pilot's good too. Okay. 
put your name in and hand it on over. Oh, oh it remembers so. your name. Yay. It does. That's good so job. good. Yeah. Okay. So, there so, you go. I need some beer. Um. Mm. So we will exit, do some changes. Change up the color to TIX. Go to Commander. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll keep it at five lives. Five's good. We'll do infinite continues so infinite. we can make it to the end. Okay, you want to see all the way through? Yep. Let's do it. Exciting. Are you ready? At Commander. 32. 32 stages to play. All right. So you will have to unplug and plug that in when I say that. Ah, it's, it's this part, right? The one on the floor. The one on the floor. Yeah. Okay. When it causes problems. So, what was I going to talk about? Cows? How was the experience playing? Oh, how the experience? It's fantastic. It feels like the arcade game. Yeah. It really feels and looks like the arcade game. And um, no, it's great. It's great. I, 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 I have not a lot to compare <laughs> to in my, my own memory, but uh, it, there's so much on the screen. There's so much oh going on. God, yeah, lots to um, do. It's, it's fantastic. I love I love getting the double shots oh my or the God. four up shots and um, hmm. did you use the roll very often? No, and I, I I almost forget it's there sometimes. I used it a couple times, but um, I do find you kind of forget. Oh yeah, I can you roll do. away when it gets a little overwhelming. I bet for the expert players who play it all the time and get good good scores, they take advantage of that a lot. Well, you but, get bonus for not using it, so I bet the expert players uh, don't even use it. I didn't know that. That's interesting. But you never know. It might be like, oh, I have to use it in this situation. There might be because certain. Because it's advantageous. If you know if you know the levels really well, then you probably identify where you're going to need to use it. Right where things get overwhelming. Oh my god. Terrible. <laughs> Camille Freya doesn't support the, pr the promotion of consumption of spirits while, oh. while flying. So. While flying? No, it's no. bad. I, I, I agree. That's probably a bad idea. Luckily, this is a just a simulation. Correct. Um, so it's more of an experiment, <laughs> I guess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Some terrible flying. Uh, usually better. It's okay. Yeah. These I games, have you have to get into the into the the, the groove of it, the, the groove feel of and it. the feel and like the rhythm of these games. There, there's kind of a constant onrush yes. of planes as you play, and it it, it, it almost becomes repetitive after a while. I don't know what it is, right. but you do get, in get zone. into that zone and like you reading off this while I'm playing like is good <laughs> because then I don't have to talk and you just get into the Isn't there a time pilot for the 7800? Time pilot. Seems like some of the would be made. Hmm. 84%. Holy child, in Tanya's defense, I've never heard heard of Don't Drink and Fly. <laughs> now, you don't see too many uh, yeah. advertisements against that or public no. service announcements. I'm sure if you're at an airport, there's lots of signs up. You know, in the break room, like, That's right. Don't Drink and Fly, consumption of alcohol. <laughs> We're just not in the Pilots are probably like, pilot That's what co-pilots are for. <laughs> yeah, That's maybe. what the autopilots for. Because... <laughs> Literally, autopilot does a lot of the work, I think, on commercial planes. The, I know, I know, flying, yeah, very the landing, little about flying, but landing and taking off, no, they they go manually. But I even think there's a lot of there's a lot of support from your guidance systems, even mm. for that. So, I don't know. Autopilot. I think Coleco made Time Pilot, and then S. Ramirez says the Coleco Vision one isn't bad. So, okay. Yeah. Oh, maybe I was thinking of the Atari 8-bit, because uh, we oh, played okay. that on the show at some point. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's a fun game. Yeah, we recently played it. Oh, I've got my pea shooter. Come on, give me some extra wings. 
It's treat time. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, oh distracting. Goodness. Did you see that black cat jump over the uh, gray cat there? <laughs> well, we're going to be playing this for a while, so... Should get those cats <laughs> dead. Oh, now I'm distracted. Okay. It's okay. I'll get on the floor. You keep playing. Okay. I'll get in the cat cap. Great kitties. Okay, who's ah. So you... Ooh, treat time's throwing me off my you're game. You're lefty. And you're here. Should so I switch that. it over? Put that there. Oh, you can. Oh, good. Oh, good kitty. Oh, good very kitty. Very low score. For you. For you. Can this game be paused? Yes, it can be paused. I will you show that off in a second. Mm. So we will pause it so I can show that. There we go. Does it go black and white? But you can pause it during that part as well, which is very handy. Okay. Oh, back to playing. Get a little harder, a little harder. But I mean, it doesn't Good. need to go black and white. I think a lot of the classic games went black and white. Just to show that it is paused. Is that you? <laughs> Was that you? Who did that? Two happy and one mad about the tree time. Oh, can you unplug it, plug it back in? This one? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Oh, do it again. Quick, quick, eating, quick, quick! They're okay. eating them all off the floor! <laughs> Why did you put them on the floor? I had to! They stole one! <laughs> oh my god. Bad kitties. That's okay. They all mix this for these kind of kids. <laughs> Too happy, one bad. Okay. Yeah, when you unplug it, plug it back in like medium. Just unplug, plug thank it. Thank you, Rendered Ghost. What did he oh, do? Okay. Did he feed the cats? Yes, yes. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Rendered Ghost. The kitties thank you a lot. Who? The great cat? Oh. Boy, boy, it's not that he's not better with his left paw. He is left handed. And he was just in the wrong position for his left hand. So it's better now? Good kitty. So that yeah. suggestion worked? Well, I mean, they still sometimes hit it, but not with enough smack. Oh, okay. So it does happen. Yeah. Yeah, because, like, he's hit, um, Sprite just hit it, but he didn't really smack it. Well, there we go. Nope, now he's trying to go right. Oh my kitty. god. Oh, I got him though. Terrible. Good kitty. I was like, maybe this one will work. Rating the treats. Are they rating the treats? They were rating the treats. He's trying to hit my hand now. Oh my goodness. Okay, there's a little one for you and there's one for you. And then take a little break. Can you press transition? No, never mind. I know it. There we go. Good kitties! All right! You have to make the stage 28. I want to see the boss paint playing Ayoko. Oh, we will. Oh, we gotcha. will. The stage right. am I at now? Oh, 30. I'm almost there. If you want to read out um, hints? Hints. Where is the phone? Put it to the side. Where were the hints at the bottom? Well, just read out most of that page. If you oh, those it's are It's all probably hints. interesting. Those well, there's scoring, and we need okay. to know about that, too. Okay. 1942. How to play. I won't go over the joystick. I think no. we all get how that works. <laughs> no joystick instructions. <laughs> Characters. Super Ace. Ah, is that who I'm playing? Super Ace. You control Super Ace Lockheed P-38 Lightning with its distinctive twin booms with four mounted engines and a single central nacelle? 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 Hmm. Containing the pilot and armament. It's a very maneuverable craft, as you're about to discover. It's pretty maneuverable. <laughs> <laughs> Though small, it contains all the firepower you need to take on the entire Japanese air defense fleet. It starts out each mission taking off from the deck of a U.S. aircraft carrier. It possesses a... It possesses... A twin guns that fire upward ahead of the plane's flight, and they can be expanded to quad guns. They can. It also possesses a limited capability of performing vertical 360 degree loops through the air, making it impervious to enemy fire and contact while performing. That's true. For all of its strength, it only takes one hit from the enemy to bring the Super Ace down. 
There, I did a little. Um, for all of your offensive prowess, you must constantly shift your position in the air so as to avoid taking enemy fire or oh, yeah. direct collisions with craft. There's not a lot of sitting still in this game. There you go. The collision box for the Super Ace covers the plane. While bullets may safely clip the forward wings without problem, a hit anywhere closer really? on the plane will destroy it. As a reference, you can use the framing and propellers to visualize the hitbox. It can hit the edges of the wings? Interesting. Oh. I don't know. Sprite is turning into a very he handsome cat. He is a cat. very handsome cat. He is. Wait till Halloween. I can't wait. Yeah. <laughs> to take some photos Halloween with them. Halloween photos. With the pumpkin. Yeah. Percentage and point upstage. What was that? I can't remember. It's like a bonus stage. It's just planes flying at you. Is that what it is? I don't see any um, bullets. No. Oh, 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 you have to get that plane. I can't remember. Oh, yeah, it was Oh. big bonus. Oh, see? These things are good to about know. That. Yeah. yeah. And it flies up from the So bottom. this is actually a bonus stage. Yeah, and you're trying to get as all many the planes. as you can. Yeah. But they can still kill oh, you. Oh, no, there are some. They're flying up from the bottom. They just, they're not Ooh. shooting at you at all. I'm going to miss a bunch here. Oh, I missed it. Very like close. Two, maybe. Very close. Yeah. Small enemies. The small enemy aircraft make up the vast majority of the fighter planes that you will encounter. Yeah, this is Although they have slightly different motions from one another, their general behavior is the same. Enter the scene, take a shot or two at you, and escape with their lives any way they can. The pilots of these crafts have no fear of flying into you either. <laughs> no. They, don't. they will continue on their route whether you get in their way or not, and if you do, that's one chance less that you will get to complete your mission. Generally, gray planes uh, appear at the top of the screen while green planes appear from the sides. Single propeller planes have two different behaviors. Planes that arrive from the side will circle randomly before leaving. Planes approach from the top still have two variations. If the gray planes come in at an angle, they will flip back and sometimes may return for a second pass at your airplane. If they come in straight, they will turn towards you. Oh, what? Sorry, read that again. That sounded important. <laughs> um, the single pro propeller planes have two different behaviors. Planes right. that arrive from the side will circle randomly before leaving. Oh, okay. The planes approach from the top still have two variations. If the gray planes come in at an angle, they will flip back and sometimes may return for a second pass. Oh, okay. If they come in straight, they will turn towards you. 97%! Ooh. It is kind of a bonus stage. Kind of. But there's still normal planes. Double propeller planes. Okay. This is the stage with the big bad guy on it. Is it? I, I thought I got to 27. I don't remember oh. the big bad guy, but maybe mm. he was at the end. Uh, double propeller planes make more loops while they are present on the screen. Jet fighters make fast direct attacks, swooping in wide arcs. Do your best to track the position of each aircraft on the screen, but be more concerned with the bullets that they shoot. Yes. Shoot down those that you can with safety and dodge any others that would pull you into danger. Mid-sized enemies. Mid-sized. Is this a mid-sized? I think this is pretty big. Um, it might be considered mid-sized. Mid-sized enemies appear far less frequently than smaller enemies, but the stretches of time between their appearance tend to be short. In the beginning of the game, they will appear at the top of the screen, loop around once, and continue down. After a while, they, they, they will begin appearing exclusively from the bottom of the screen. Shortly after that, they will begin to appear in randomized packs. Mm. For this reason, it is not safe to remain at the bottom of the screen. No. Nope. Uh, since you cannot tell where they will appear from. The gray planes are more resilient to your shots and travel slightly faster than the green ones. Towards the end of the game, the planes will occasionally appear in a screen-wide formation that will require you to move to one side or the other. Probably flip too. In order to get Ooh, behind them plane. safely. It's like jets now. Are they? They barrel roll. There's some that barrel. Those yes. ones roll towards you. They were rolling. Yeah. Ooh, very nice. Thank you. They take a number of shots to destroy and earn you a thousand to fifteen hundred points. There's the boss, maybe. Yeah. Oh, no, no boss. Yeah, that's what I said. Maybe it's the next, yeah. next one. 
Do the enemy planes have any intelligence or do they always follow a set pattern? They, they follow a set pattern, yeah. but the ones that barrel, barrel roll apparently barrel roll towards you. Oh, so some do okay. aim for you, it seems. Okay. Um, even if you don't kill such enemies, the big ones, you still get 100 points for each hit you land on them. So oh. you get something. Okay. Large enemies. These planes are the largest regular enemy that you will face, and their defense is formidable. They will always fly on to the screen from the bottom and will move towards the top. Eventually, they stop advancing and begin moving back and forth in a pattern while showering you with bullets. They take a high number of shots to fully destroy. The first time you defeat one, you will earn 2,000 points. Mm. Every time you defeat another plane, the, the point value awarded increases by 500 points, up to a maximum of 9,000 points. Oh, yes. That's, That's how you good. get the points. You have to get all the really big ones. I don't know if this is a big one. Is it a big I one? I think it is. I think so, the because it goes up and goes side to side yes. and then shoots at you, and they shoot three at a time. The medium ones just kind of go up the screen. They kind like of... Like those, those. Oh, Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. This is my first death in a long time. Look, I have seven, I had eight lives. Nice. <laughs> Doing well. This is on hard. Good job. It doesn't seem that different than novice. Are there more planes or more bullets? I think more bullets. There's more bullets. I think the planes, I don't know. I think there's I more planes. I haven't really been paying, but I don't know. Maybe there are more planes. Ah, oh, I missed the red plane. <laughs> Oh, kitten. Kitten. Don't blame the sprite. He's, He's too fluffy. He's just a kitten. He's too fluffy. He's just a little, little wee. His tail is fluffy. Is in my fluffy. Life. Kitten. <laughs> Come up here. Losing lives like crazy, Come kitten. Here. Come. Come cuddle. <laughs> there we go. Good kitty. Evil fluff powers, correct. Yes. You are the Powers devil. of distraction. Yeah. Devil you cat. are the devil. Yes, we love him. <laughs> love our devil. We love our devil cat. <laughs> uh, boss plane Ayako. Oop. Oh, I haven't seen that one yet. What else? Did I miss something here? 9,000. Oh, so I mentioned the 9,000 points. Yep. As with the medium planes, the gray version has more thresholds and advances faster than the green. The gray version also shoots out more bullets in more directions than the green. Take them out as quickly as possible without exposing the super ace to dangers pres presented by the smaller planes. This blows the NES out of the water. It destroys it's the It's amazing. NES. NES has terrible flicker, and this, this, the music is terrible. Mm. This is beautiful scrolling, beautiful control. I love great graphics. All the little details at the top of the screen, too. I, oh, I think that's amazing. Really it looks so it. good. Nope. See, the gray ones move faster. Okay. Need some red, red planes, please. Need some, need some pals. Oh, oh, that helps. No, it doesn't. It's just points. Oh, there we go. Come on. Come on. So these, the large planes initially shoot three bullets spread out, That's and then as the point. game progresses, the number of shots in a volley increases. So they eventually shoot even more. So that one's shooting oh. three. But eventually, ah. ah, they start shooting more. That's okay. Damn, that was Just cornered. the side. Just the side. You're still good. Lost boss plane Ayako. 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 When does that appear? You will face exactly four boss planes throughout the 32 stages. They will appear appear when you have 26, 18, 10, and two stages remaining. So it's 26. Oh. That you hit the boss. 26. Not 20. 26. So there you go. Should be at the end. At of the this end one. of this stage. I'm excited. Um, just lost my the first fire three are green, and the final boss that appears is gray. Ah! Sorry. It's okay. This plane, named the Ayako, is based on the Japanese Nakajima G8N bomber used by the Imperial Japanese Navy. The green plane spray bullets into the air in waves. A general strategy to employ is to fire at the plane as frequently as possible and prepare to use one of your loop maneuvers when the bullet spray begins. Yeah, I think that's when it's going to come in play yeah. for sure. I'm already having some oh, no, issues on this level. This is a lot of bullets and a lot of planes. Oh my god! 
It is apparent that avoiding every bullet is impossible. Execute a loop and avoid all of the bullets entirely, then immediately resume shooting. Oh my god! That's okay, you can continue. <laughs> you did very well, your score is extremely high. Yeah, I made it to level 26 on... I mean, I'd started with five lives, but... The gray plane, which is the last one, shoots more regularly, so the loop maneuver can't be as precisely timed. The boss plane is a very wide target and easy to hit from nearly every position on the screen, so focus more on the super ace's position and dodge the bullets while just constantly firing. Yeah, that's that's um, mostly what I do in this game is defensive, defensive, defensive. Yeah. Because there's planes all over the screen, you're going to hit something. Um, until you defeat the Ayako, oh you cannot God. advance to the next stage. The first boss is Stop worth 20,000 points, and each boss's point value increases by 10,000 points up to 50,000. This level is hard as hell. Well, yeah, it's the f it's kind of boss the level. first boss level. There's so many planes and bullets on the You're screen. You're also on commander, so eh. that probably makes it harder, too. It does, but this is, like, significantly harder, i found, than other levels. Oh, yeah. Pow, 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 pow. pow. That's exactly what I want, and I don't want to lose it. I think I prefer the four shot, to be honest, because it's less spread out. Mm. But I guess in a weird way, you have... Oh! Mmm. Ah. NES has higher resolution. Does it? Yeah. Dyer51 says, got to snag a copy of this when it hits. And then Azura says, looking at the NES ver version, NES sprites move yes. slightly choppy. These sprites are moving smoothly, yes? Super smooth. And then Dyer says, uh... Uh, Mic Micronics could program their way out of a paper bag. <laughs> <laughs> and then oh. Chalcedony Mouse says, paper bag the game. <laughs> paper bag the game. Ah, uh, funny. It looks, and it plays fantastic. My uh, Fantastic. Out, if you could turn it off. Oh, it's okay. I'm not done. Oh, okay. We're up to power-ups now. Okay. This is going to be good, because I want to know what all the... Okay. Pows are. Yeah. There's all tons of colors. Yeah. So power-ups. At certain intervals, at every stage, a formation of red planes will fly out. If you destroy every single red plane, you will get a pow. Um, that was stupid. Okay. The power-up granted by the pow symbol is determined by the stage and the color. By the stage and the color. Yeah. So oh. I think you only get certain pows at certain stages. Makes sense. Each stage has a particular unique power-up that you can collect. With the exception of the Extra Life Stages, which has a secondary power-up to collect. If you already possess the power-up that, uh, that you can earn on that stage, you will earn the thousand point POW symbol instead. So if you already have the power-up it was going to give oh. you, you just get a thousand points. That's fine. Yeah. So the green POW gives you the quad gun. I'm not sure if the, the colors of the POWs exactly line up with this version, but... It may not. Yeah. There might be slight color differences, which so, may be difficult to In the first out. stage, you got the quad gun, so that was the, yep. good, the green POW. Um, it, it expands the double barrel gun to a quad barrel gun, doubling the attack width, but not damage. It spawns in stages 32, 28, 24, 20, 16, 12, 8, and 4. For which? For the, the quad. Quad? Gun. Oh my goodness. POW enemy crash. Every enemy currently on the screen will be instantly destroyed. That's a pretty good one. That is a good one. That's a kind of a beige looking POW. Mm. It's um, going to be all relative. <laughs> 31, 21, 19, 18, 11, 7, 3, and 1. 26, and I got the side uh, planes, okay. which is awesome for this level, and it's probably exactly what you needed. Side fighters. Yeah. That's the green power with the orange outline. That's a thousand points I just gave me. Okay. Damn it! No! No! No, I should have rolled. Oh, I need the red guys again. Did you see a big plane yet? No. No. It hasn't come on the screen yet. I will yet. tell you. Okay. That's probably at the end of this um. very hard, distinctly <laughs> hard level. Like, so it's much harder than the rest. It, I've it, been it, stuck on you've it. Been, yeah, yeah, no, for sure. Um, so two fighters spawn on either side of the player, moving and firing as assistance. Mm. The fighters remain active until they crash into an enemy, get hit by a bullet, or the player loses a life. So tip, if they collide with a larger plane, they are instantly destroyed, which we noticed, because I did that, he ran into me from behind, hit a side plane, and killed it immediately, so you got all yes, the points. So yes, yes. That's handy. It is handy. Not what you want, but better than you die. <laughs> I 
turning into its bullets. Um, Whoa. So black pow with red outline. No! Extra life. It's okay. Which audio chip is this easy? It's the YM Yamaha audio chip on the Dragonfly. Um, so it was really programmed for this multi-cart. Um, not the concerto. It's too big for the concerto as well at the moment. This is 256. So they're shooting more than three now. Yeah, They've five. upgraded, and I wonder if the commander level upgrades them faster. Mm, I don't know about it that. Might. I don't know. Yamaha equals music, TIA equals effects. Yes, thank you, Vitoko. Um, Very hectic. Yeah, this yeah. is... Oh my god, the stage! It's hard. Um, I will pass it. Pass it this so, time. Black pow with red background, extra life. Ooh. Spawns in 27, 20, 15, 8, and 4. Okay. Orange pal with black background. No enemy bullets. What? For how long? Enemies that are not large planes cannot fire any bullets for a limited time. Spawns in stages 27 and 15, so not many stages. Mm. Okay. Die, 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 yeah. die, die. Extra loop, pow. Earn one extra loop maneuver only for one stage. You will lose it at the end of the stage, but it gives bonus points for it. Spawns in 23, 18, 17, 13, 9, and 5. Hmm. And then red pow with green background is just a thousand points. It spawns at any, any stage. These guys don't shoot, so I'm just going to ignore them. Oh, oh my god! No! Oh my god. Stage. It's just so full. The screen is so full. The Ya Shi Shi Chi is that little um, seven arrows. It's like a little star. Oh yeah, I got that one. And then you get that if you shoot the green plane at what, in, in some of the specific stages and it gives you 5,000 points. Yeah. So we showed that one. It came up the left side. Thank you, you Chic Gamer 01, hey, for subscribing Chic Gamer with Prime. Oh, it was a different Chic. Chic. S H. Chic, as in French Chic. What does that chic. translate to? Chic. Yeah. Is there a English? Like, I mean, it's been adopted in English. Isn't it a French word? Yeah, chic. Yeah. Is that trendy? Trendy. Cute. Oh, uh, no! Red plane! Oh, good night, S. Ramirez. Good night, S. Ramirez. Thank you for joining us. Sick of stage 26, I see. Yeah. <laughs> so am I. I would like to move on. It's hard. Of course, playing on the hardest level does not help. Hardest, yeah. I am quite happy playing on novice. <laughs> I can. I made it to tw level twenty-seven, and I could have kept going. So we'll make it. I'm going to ignore these annoying planes. Oh my god! I'm just focus on the green guys because they're the ones who are shooting. Just dodge. Gotta clear the screen. Oh, oof. this guy does shoot. He does, and you do want to shoot him. If you hit him with your side plane, he would immediately die. Oh my god, I lost my side planes. I bet there's no more power-ups and it's bad. Oh yeah, it's boss time. Oh, it's boss time! I've got one Remember, life. Remember, flipping, flipping. It's all about the flipping. This is not what I want. One... Just hit and shoot. shooter flip. plane and one left. Flip. Flip! No, because it's, um, it's shooting at me. So, that means stay here, wait till he shoots, move over. <gasps> Woo How can the boss be infinitely easier than the level? Because <laughs> you're playing on Commander. Uh, thank nice. you, Chelsea Don. Nice, now. good job. Finally passed it. <laughs> oh, what a 79%. nightmare. What a nightmare. And then it just and keeps on going. It's only stage 25. Yep. We'll make it. See if every other stage is as hard as that last one was. That guy's so cool. I can hear his motorbike from blocks away. <laughs> I 
that's what I think every time, time you hear, hear someone somebody's with a, loud vehicle. I'm like, oh, they're cool. The rumbly muff they're mufflers. They're super cool. The rumbly mufflers. Got it. Give me something. No points. Come on. That was a hard. This this is like a this is like a bonus level. They're not shooting it is, at you. That's you need true. to shoot the the or uh, the green one that flips around. I think that's one that that shows up. Oh, no. So I missed all the white, big white planes. Oh, it's okay. Because the little ones flip around like two times. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So you get a chance to get the white ones again. But the slow, big ones that go up the screen, you only get the chance while they're on the screen. They don't flip around. They don't quite come down to the bottom. Mm. They come very close. Things enough do that come I... up from the bottom, though, so you oh, have yeah. to be careful. Done? No, not done. Oh my god, I'll never get all these. Only if I had, like, super plane, could I get all these. Oh, had the quad shot or whatever, yeah. maybe? Yeah, quad shot. It's got a pea shooter right now. Yeah. Slow, slow pea shooter. Who do we have to thank for this port? Playsoft and TIX. That's masterful. Crazy. They usually make 8 bit games, but they uh, decided to make an Atari 7800 game, which. Oh, what? Oh, shoots up as it goes off the screen. I know. Which I'm need. very thankful they did, because this is astounding. It's amazing. Like, it could not be any better on the 7800. Azir says, and is it's... this not an 8-bit game? Oh, no, this is 7800. 7, Atari 7800. It is so good. It's everything and more that mm -hmm. I wanted in 1942. Um, one of my favorite games. I love shooters. And this is like at a kind of a calm level of shooter. It's not bullet hell. I mean, it gets it's pretty getting hectic. close. It's, it's plain hell. It's not bullet hell. Plain hell, yes. The planes come for you. Um, on the bosses, there's quite a few bullets. Oop, I'm trying to the planes. Um, I don't want the screen to fill up with those gray ones, because they spit out the bullets. That guy. That guy right there. That's the guy. Get it. 5,000. Yeah, that's a really good bonus. I don't really care too much about points. No, but it's kind of fun. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I need something. I need something. Yes, I need that. Four shots? Yeah. Take it. It'll help with the big planes like this, where they're spewing out bullets. So apparently, it doesn't do more damage. Oh, what? It just widens out your shot. What? Yeah. According to the wiki. Um, it widens your shot, so you're more... Whoa, Ooh, what whoa. the hell ha, was ha, that? Ha. That was super close. Definitely. Yeah. Oh, it's forcing me up the screen. Is a cat rummaging in there? I don't know what that noise was. Or is it a raccoon that's got in the house? I think a raccoon got in. A, way, a wayward squirrel. What is going on? Yeah, it is a cat. <laughs> a cat uh -huh. in the crawl space. In the crawl space. Cats in the crawl space. What was that? Some show where someone's hitting a broom. Oh, the cats in the crawl space again. <laughs> I don't know what it was. It was some TV show. Really? I, I don't know about that one. Memory. I can't remember what that's from. Cats it's a in the movie. crawl space again? It's either a movie or a TV show. Oh. Or was it like Friends? See, level, the the level 26 was brutal. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not even dying on some of these well, levels that are passed. Well, it's the boss level. It's trying to make it harder. That is true. Yeah. Who do we have to thank? Oh, you already read that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, some smacking. Or maybe it was raccoons in the crawl space. Right. I don't know. Please put your trays in the upright position. <laughs> no, you cannot have the full can of... Can I have the full can? No, we're going to pour it in this... At least it was at the beginning of the level. In this tiny cup, which reminds me... Are they not giving full cans of soda anymore? Oh, probably not. That is, that is basically the sign of the complete decline of civilization. But I mean, why are they using cans anyway? <laughs> why don't they use, like, two liters? That seems costly. If if they can't afford Ooh, the other nice half pattern. of the can to give you the other half of the can. Ooh, ooh, ooh. One more. Oh, uh, just. Give me some good. Yellow? What is that? Uh, a thousand points. Oh, it's an extra roll. Is it? Yeah. Oh. Shoot five. 
Oh, quick to die. Very nice backgrounds, jungle backgrounds. Neat looking planes, they're very oh. leafy looking. <laughs> leafy looking planes, and camouflaged. Any idea hundred. if this will be available through Atari Tour? Uh, the plans right now, yeah. as it sits, is a free binary will be distributed. A free binary? Yep, just straight <gasps> up, you get the game. What? Um, that is amazing! It is. Um, plans may change. Um, but uh, as, as far as I know, right now, it's going to be a binary in a couple weeks because they're just finishing off um, some, some graphics that, oh my God, some graphics that they wanted to get done. Uh, TIX wanted to finish off some graphics that he wasn't okay. happy with. Uh, I can't remember what it was. It might have been on the carrier, like the beginning and end carrier that you see. Oh. Um, I think he was talking about swamp, but I think he finished the swamp area. So I've got the power cable for my dragonfly. Mm -hmm. Well, you don't need the power cable. Oh, you mean just to power it up, not the power between the 7800. But isn't it a standard power cable? Hmm. Sheet Gamer says, I'm not a fan of shooters, but I love seeing more ports in the 7800. I would likely try this out. Nice. I highly suggest it. Yeah. If you like, I mean, you don't like shooters, but... It is still an excellent game, even if you don't like shooters. It's it's great music, great graphics, uh, great gameplay. It's just top-notch, triple-A title, if there is such a thing for homebrews. <laughs> like, best of the best. Like, it could not be better. I can't think of anything that would make this better. Um, and it's got... Um, you could save your score, too. Um, on the Atari box. For safety. Dire 51 says, nuts, I don't have a dragonfly. Hopefully it'll get a cart release at some point. <laughs> um, hopefully there'd be some option somehow for a cart release. Like, even if it's not officially um, sold through Atari Age, mm -hmm. but, like, you have the option of, like, making it, like, on the fly. Yes. Because they do that for some carts. They do, yeah, that's true. Um, but the fact that this needs a YM um, chip in it oh i see it's quite special yes so i don't know i'm pretty sure he does not have carts that are just have lion chips in them um so i highly 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 suggest you buy the 7800 game drive multi-cart sd cart when it comes out because that will one be an awesome um an awesome multi-cart for playing on the 7800, but it will also support this game as well. Oh! Seems so it should have flipped. Um... What else was I going to say? This gypsy says it's a bullet heck. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> that was terrible. It is a bullet heck. Yep, 7800! 1942. Yeah. That's you just just joined us. Yep, that sequence. Of, so I'm gonna flip around these guys. Oh, oh, right into him. When you flip, you can't hey, move you got, very you well. You got the points for him, though. Like, no, you can't. Because you're moving. Yeah. It's, it's you're very weird. You're stuck in line where you are. You really I'll have to dodge. Carefully dodge. Ah. That is hard because they cover and they move so slowly. Yeah. Yeah, I might. The barrel roll is oh, it's a little tight. Is. Try again. There you go. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> Which, like, it doesn't... It's not as easy to maneuver. It's more like getting out of the way. Like, temporarily in the same spot. Rather than I can move mm -hmm. and do a barrel roll. Yeah. It's better for dodging the bullets, I think, than the than the planes. Because they're the planes are a little bit more yeah. unpredictable. Um, but I... Don't know what the price is going to be on the 7800 game drive. Yeah. But I think it's going to be fairly expensive. No. Because I believe it has an FPGA in it, which are expensive to begin with, plus all the rest of it. But uh, Dragonfly was not cheap either. No. Um, because of all of it. <gasps> turned around. No. Oh. Because of all its capabilities. Yeah. Of uh, being able to hold a, a dual. Dual po Pokey plus YM, um, but this also has the 7800 Game Drive. Also has a RGB out option built right onto the cartridge, so it has even more hardware. 
than uh, a normal a normal cartridge. And a barrel roll. I mean, you do need it on this level, so it's kind yeah. of good that, that they might, that I'm sure there's method to their madness as far as when yeah. they give you, like the power-ups that they give you. You don't have to shoot that much, but you have to be on it. Like, just keep yeah, shooting it. Yeah, you do. And sometimes you don't get the opportunity. And no, because you're dodging all the other crap that's coming at you. Which is sometimes more important, because each one of those guys that comes on the screen is now shooting a, a bullet at you. And when there's like 10 of them, or 15, I don't know if it gets that busy, but it feels like it. Yeah, it does. Fast, too. Like, they're faster than you. They do look God. like flying maple leaves. I don't know what it is about they those do. green They do. They're very ones. leafy. They're very leafy looking. They have this a red one. A Jeez. Okay. This one is tight. Let's and all these other things. This. Okay, good, good. Nice. be out at some point the cart will become the console uh yes yeah. there's theories that oh god damn it that if you could power the cart i don't know this yet but we'll find out because we'll have we'll have an interview with saint um that possibly you can use it without the 7800 if it only uses power from the 7800 like you could theoretically make an adapter that gives you power and ground with a cart and it adds on like a cart like you plug it into something that's it oh, it was almost at the end of the level <laughs> so we'll see oh yeah, yeah i hope that saint also releases an rgb mod that doesn't require the flash cart mm -hmm. so you're allowed to use the other carts with rgb out i don't think it works that way i don't think it works that way but we will find out when he's done yeah. still working on it sounds like he has a bit to go like he's close, but there's always like little things and you have to test so many games for compatibility. All the different, um... Ah! <sighs> I saw that one coming. I know. All the different bank switching schemes, all the different special audio for uh, 7800 as well. So he uses TIA, NYM, some dual pokey, Hard. It's getting like, harder. The, the stages are getting harder. Some are easier than others, but in general, yeah. Definitely. You're getting more of the gray planes, which shoot more. Yes. And they take more, more shots, times. and they move more quickly, too. Yeah. Uh, at least according to the wiki. So mm. they are different. Green is easier than gray. Yeah, they're a little bit slower. Okay, give me something, something good. Yes. Something. Right. More shots. The oh, gray that on, works. The gray on gray is more shots. Yeah, I don't know if the PAL colors line up with what I was saying earlier. They don't. Uh, but that's okay. I mean, it looks like the actual oh power-ups do. Like, when I have four shots and all four hit that plane, that means I hit it I don't know doubled. if it does. I think it's more like it hitting. hits... I, th I think it's like hitting once. I think what I read was it expands the width of your shot. It doesn't change the damage. So all four count as one. When it's it it's hits. the same damage as the two, I think. Do you know what I mean? Like Yeah. Um, like if one hits it, it doesn't count the other ones. I, I, that's how I interpret that, yeah. but I could be wrong. Someone might know better. Oh, sorry. Cats are like, what? The cat's like, you're not allowed to scratch things. That's my job. Yeah. I destroy furniture. <laughs> you're not the furniture destroyer. This line of planes. I'm just going to stay over here. They do shoot a lot. Oh, they are shooting too. Yeah, the gray ah! ones shoot more. I can't. Hello, Trey Guy. Hey, Trey Guy. The world says hello back. <laughs> hello, world. It's his first program. <laughs> what level am I on? 22? 22. I started at 39. 39, I think. Yeah. Halfway there. How dare the enemy plane shoot at you? I know! What? <laughs> this should be a cakewalk. What's going on? Oh! That was stupidity. Yeah, it's a Flying into a crowd of planes. I'm just not inclined to use the roll, and it doesn't really help 
they, me in a lot of situations. Like I said, the the only time they recommended it was when you're doing the bosses, and there were too many shots. Yeah, I can see that because by the time you land the, or roll yeah. over, the shots are past. And you. and whereas the planes are erratic sometimes in their movement, the shots just keep going straight. So by the time you flip, the shot should have passed, right? Yeah, so I can kind of see the method that like that's got some value, right? Oh yeah. That was very Ooh. lucky, or a lot of that was. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. That was threading the needle a couple times there. There's just so many things on. Oh my god, this five plane. Oh, only three this time. What the hell? Different. Three. Different. Different I'm level. Happy for that. Just points, because I already have the four shot. So it's the same power up. You can't get two power ups on a level. I don't know. Is what was implied. Um, no. Well, if two you can't, I don't know how you escape that. I don't um, know either. You punish you. Yeah. yeah. Not quite. No. Um, it implied that if you don't have your power up, then you might get the same power up again. But if you have the power up, you're not going to get it. A yes. different one. Yes. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Which. And there's, I think there's only two power-ups per level, which implies that it's the same one twice. Yeah. Um, Does Konami know about this court? <laughs> that is why it's not getting released You know the rules of Fight Club. Yeah. <laughs> no one talks. No, no, no. Hush, hush. Just play good. Don't play bad. Oh! <laughs> is that how it Thank works? Thank you, Azura. That was a very pro tip. Yeah. I will do my best. Pro as long tip. As, as long Don't get I, hit by the bullets. That's right. Or the planes. Oh, is this a uh, bonus level? It kind of looks like another one of those. I mean, they're not bonus levels. They're you can still die levels. Yeah. Which oh damn it. Oh. Ooh, that was very close. But I sh I don't know if I've ever asked that question. That would be a, be a good poll question. Yeah. Does do bonus levels count if you can die on them? Are they really bonus levels? Because I would say they're bonus if you can't die on them. These guys aren't looping back. No, they don't. I don't know how you're supposed don't. to get 100 on this. They only go, the, the big it's ones hard. only... Ah! Oh my ah! god, what? <laughs> what? The... That is not That's a, bonus a loop level. situation. <laughs> uh, I don't think Konami would care since this is a Capcom game. Oh. <laughs> Off code. Yeah, that uh, would make sense. Yeah, probably. Don't, so tell Konami all you want, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Did Konami license it for a home Now port? Capcom. They might be. They don't know. Oh. Ah, I don't know how you dodge that. You, have you don't. To get through you them. have to flip. And wow. I just forgot oh, you again. Have to flip. I forgot again. Okay. Bonus only if you can't lose a life. Yeah, I, I agree with that. Oh no. Doing well in this bonus level. I did. It never termed it as a bonus level. Hey, Ivory Tower. Hey, Ivory Tower. Missed uh, about ten levels. Fifteen levels. A fair number of levels. Fair number. Of levels. On Commander. We were watching a review. Oh my god, that was terrible. Of the latest Top Gun. Oh, yes. Which sounds like it's very good. I'm not a huge as Top Gun fan, but I've heard it's a very good film. As so. an action movie. As looks, an action movie. Looks great. Yeah. You no, know, it's got that authenticity yeah. of actual planes. Yeah. Which I of don't actual really care about, but. Uh, filming and not all CG. And... But it makes it. Okay, flip. That worked. Oh, can I get them all? Can I get them all? Can I get them all? <gasps> oh, good job. And a point for the power. I know another set is going to come for sure of red, and it's going to be the same pattern. Yeah. 100%. I can almost get it. Because that, that's how it seems to go mm -hmm. um, for red planes. They always seem to come in in the same sequence. I don't know how you can get 100%. That's going to be really hard on these levels. Oh, no, it didn't. Surprising. Different patterns. I will watch for that pattern again, because now they've that done it. That was quite, quite a oh. dramatic pattern. This guy's going to shoot. Yeah, he does. He shoots a lot. Oof. I mean, ah. Go on. Stand still. Oh, uh, I didn't get him. You really have to, like, continuously shoot. Yep. There were bullets flying everywhere. 
He shot some planes, they shot back. Yep, that's a good summary. <laughs> 66, oh, it was hard. That was a hard bonus level. Level 20, 20 more to go. Halfway there officially now. We just have different names for each level, or each set of levels anyway. You said there's three parts? Ooh, look at that. You mean uh, three sets of bosses? Four three bosses. Four bosses. First three are green. The last one is is oh. gray. Yeah. Get caught. Flip. <laughs> yeah. There are four sets of bosses. The last four. one is on level two, so I don't know what level one is. Maybe it's a super Stage boss. Stage one. Yeah, maybe. I've definitely not pumped enough quarters into this game <laughs> to uh, ever make it as far as I've even made it. Now. Yeah. It's nice to have have infinite continues. Or enough time to yeah. do that in an arcade. Continue. Infinite yeah. continues is That's nice. Yeah. Because they're translating an arcade game, you technically have infinite continues at the arcade. Yeah, if you have infinite quarters, you have infinite continues. And you can set it to, I have only a dollar, and I'm going to set it to four continues, or yeah. whatever, oh, or three continues. Is there a 1942 for you to play at PRGE? I don't know. Oh, yeah. Maybe. There's definitely going to be. However, I do know that Ground right. Control has 1942. I'm pretty sure they do. Or they have the sequel, because we played it there. They had a sequel. I can't remember. I think it was 44. Was it 44? I knew they had one more. of them. I oh, think they had more God. than just the one, though. But um... Yeah. There, there's. It's a huge arcade, and this is a very popular game. Yeah. So I can see um, PRG having, um, having this. Hoping, I don't know if Atari Age just puts games on that they don't plan to release at the demoing out at their booth. Not usually. Because <laughs> this won't be a very nice one to demo, but like, why would why would they demo it? Yeah. Because they're not planning on selling it. And and then they would be associated with it. And it's kind of a risky uh, risky venture for such a high profile game. Possibly risky. Okay, go away, go away, go away, go away, go. Oh, oh my oh. God! Look. Volcano. Uh, no, I know the backgrounds. Like I'm not really paying nice. that much attention no, to the backgrounds, but they look beautiful. I'm very busy. Very beautiful. Some of these I never get because it's just too much dodging them. Oh, look, look at that! He shoots when he's off the screen. <laughs> Me. It's getting harder and harder to like destroy planes and more about evading everything. Oh yeah. Called avoid. Mm -hmm. Avoid the planes. It's a game called quarter muncher. Yes. What it is. Interesting at. Oh. No. Oh no. <laughs> well, it crashed elegantly. Very elegantly. <laughs> Ooh, yes. Oh uh, no. Oh well. Anyone? Can you translate? <laughs> Lots of hacks. No, you broke it. Um. There is. Is it making noise? Yeah, it's making noise. I'll turn it Is it? Yeah. Um, there is a. No, I did. Yeah, I was just about to say that. No, I didn't have the. I don't have the equipment yet. It's on the slow boat. Um, it is recommended to upgrade the dragonfly cart. Oh, and you haven't? I haven't because I haven't got the equipment yet. Oh, I see. To upgrade it? And it has been tested throughout the whole game. Okay. Using cheat mode okay. or of, of invincibility. Is that zero page? <laughs> uh, maybe. Yeah. Could be zero. Zero page information. Depends what's stored in zero page. Um, so that would be the end. Uh, but we're going to just play it with the sound effects so people can hear the sound effects. Yeah. So it's clear. Yeah. Try one of the other levels. Just try an easier level, maybe the middle one, and see if you notice a difference. Because it's okay. hard for me because I only played novice. Well, so try is... the try the pilot level. Well, this is going back to level one, which is going to seem like primitive know. to me. It didn't seem that different when I played it, but you'll you'll have to see. Ooh, I'm gonna put it on. Uh, oh, put it on a different fire. color. Daryl. We haven't done. This is my brother Daryl. This is my other brother. What is it? I'm Larry. This is my brother Daryl. This yep. is my other brother. We Darryl. haven't done Daryl yet. Go. That's correct. Daryl, it is. Upgrading the DF cart requires USB blaster since you have to update the actual CPLD with new code in addition mm. to the DF firmware upgrade. Yeah, so I need a piece of hardware that interfaces with the Dragonfly yeah. to upgrade it, and it just hasn't arrived yet. Mm. 
that's why I haven't upgraded it. But we played plenty, I guess. See, very bright. This is a very bright version. People with... Uh, I definitely like uh, auto fire. No, I'm not playing without auto fire. No. Because that is going to be a pain in the butt. Mm. Up upgrading the DF cart requires a USB blaster since you have to update the actual CPLD Just with new that. code in addition to a DF firmware up update. And then Avertire says, I soldered headers to the JTAG on mine. Oh. But I guess you could get away with just having the pins in the vias. Yeah. Vias? Vias? Vias. Vias. And making sure everything is connected. <laughs> oh, that is sounds connected. very dangerous. Uh, can you permanently uh, solder some headers and mm -hmm. still close the cart? Oh, I turned the button. So this is just the S, uh, the FX. Yeah, and these are. Two. I like the music. I like the music. I'm dying because I have to adjust volumes because that's the whole point. Okay. Oh, that's too loud. Uh, oh wait, no, you can hand. hear it now. <laughs> there we go. See the TIA is perfectly fine for sound effects. Yeah. And there's a there's a bank of sound effects that he um, used from Revenge um, because there's a bunch that are available and made by the community and also um, adapted from other 2600 games and there's so many 2600 games to choose from. Um, the sound effects they sound great. It's a very bright version of the game. It is. I, I actually don't like the color as much as the last one. No, and he meant he made it for people with dark displays. Gotcha. So like it's CRTs a little brighter. that are a little bit dim. Yeah, maybe. I was like, it doesn't look as good. I'm like, oh yeah, we changed the color on it. Yeah. The, the other one, I think, definitely looks nice. But it makes sense that you have a couple of options there. That's well, great. Yeah. yeah. So that it could be like labeled color one, color two, and bright mode, maybe on the final version. So I, I highly doubt they'll keep the people's names in the yeah. final version, but you never know. Uh, Pseudographics is saying that the sound effects do seem a little loud now. Oh my god, they're very loud. Sorry. I'm trying to play and adjust the volumes. Probably can't hear us at all. Oh, they were very loud. I apologize. Um, Trey Guy says there are more 2600 games than the number of different sounds the 2600 can emit. <laughs> yes. That sounds about right. That is true. And we have Hundreds. played a substantial number of them now. Yeah, like 450 originals and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. hundreds of, if yeah. not thousands yeah, of homebrew of games. Homebrew games. Um, I was, but the software to update it requires a license. I only had 30 day trial that ran out over the weekend. Mm. Yes, and I haven't installed that software because it will run out before mm -hmm. I upgrade. So, Fair okay. Um, I. Oh, was the record saved to cart? Um, Good question. Well, actually, you should be able to see. Atari Vox Plus? There is the high score. Yeah. And that was my high score that I yes. um, got that was in yours, one of the runs. For sure. Um, and actually, since we didn't make it to the end of the game, I'm going to play the credits for you. Okay. Uh, as if we made it to the end of the game because the Dragonfly was mm. not uh, properly Upgrade. upgraded. Actually, it has a demo mode as well. Yes, it's uh, saving onto the Atari Vox. Now you can see all the scores, and it recorded your scores too, Hi. even though it crashed because it was it's an yeah. external device. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's good. Actually, I'm just going to let it run for a second so you can see the demo mode play. Oh, it will play on its own. Yeah. I can't remember how good it is. Yeah. I think it has re recorded movements so that. Um, Hi, cat. Hi. Oh. Say hello, hello to little Atari. kitty. How are you doing? So I, I do think he does like he is a left pod cat. He is left pod. Yeah, he seems to like hitting the bell with his left pod. Don't you? So he did better this time? He seemed bit better? to, but I mean, they, they still have that issue where they hit it a little too softly and it doesn't actually ding. Mm. But um, here's the, the demo. demo. It's still in the color mode <laughs> that you is. had last. Yeah, I guess it plays with the settings that you have, which makes sense. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, it's not random. This looks like somebody recorded their game. Yeah. Recorded like the joystick movements of a of a game they played. I wonder if it plays like easy mode and hard mode. If you set it to easy mode and hard mode. I don't know. Or if it's just playing a simple a it's simple game every time, but the color the color is is, a, is yeah. adjustable. It is definitely playing to what's on it's the, the screen, it's a, and it's playing the Daryl color. <laughs> yes, yes, and because I've seen demos like in arcades where it's just like this seems very random joystick movements, mm -hmm. um, or twenty six hundred demos because they don't have much room to store things, mm -hmm. or it's just like yeah, that's just random movements. Beautiful backgrounds. Look at the waves. And the little islands and the trees, it's gorgeous. Um, okay, so I'm gonna play the um, credit screen because we didn't make it to the credit screen for everyone. Dan ABC says nice demo mode. Yeah, I this is very good nice demo, demo mode. So you can just let it run in the background. Okay. Hi. That's what I wanted. A little bit of kitten spit on my hands. Yeah. <laughs> some kitten spit. Who Would doesn't want some kitten, kitten spit? spit? Uh, okay. Let me bring up the video. There we go. Noisy, spitty cat. <laughs> you can hear him. So here is a recording. Oh, sorry, headphone users. <laughs> So you can see all the credits nice. of the people who contributed to the game. And you get 10 million points for finishing. Wow. And so it's a pretty good bonus score. That is a pretty good bonus score. Presented by Capcom. Mm -hmm. P.S. Hope our next game... And it doesn't say anything else. <laughs> I'm not sure what that means. Maybe that was in the arcade? Hope our next game and that's it? I think Trevor um, recorded this, this. This, yeah. Well, you you want to see the credits? T U X Tux Tux. A continuous continuous shooting should not have sound effects or be lower than the hits and bonuses. Mm -hmm. That's that's true because it's constant, yeah. right? And you're like that should be just faded into the background. This cat is going to town on my hands right there now. There you go. Testing in colors. Daryl 1970 and Trevor. Nice. Testing, Wongo Jack, Zero Page Homebrew, Jaden, JRH, Crossbow, and S. Ramirez 2008. Lovely. TIA Sound Effects Library. Revenge. Revenge. Arcade Game Info. Agar Mouse. Agar Mouse. Something. Hardware Support. Marauder 666 and Juan Solo. Dragonfly Support. RJ1307 and Eagle. Who makes great music. Uh, 7800 GD Support. Let's see. And then it wraps around again. Uh, 2022 <laughs> nice. Atari 7800 Code Very Play nice. Soft Graphics Tick Specials. Thanks to, and there's the original designer and composer, and a very nice Capcom. A very nice a Capcom. Full widescreen Capcom um, logo at the top. So there you go. There is 1942 for the 7800. Uh, played as long as I could. Uh, I need to upgrade my Dragonfly. Hopefully, we might the be part able to play comes. Again. At some point, we'll play it in After Dark. Yeah. That sounds good. 7800, the little console that could. <laughs> that keeps on coulding. Yes. That's for sure. It is unbelievable the amount and quality of the games coming out for the 7800 now. Oh, my goodness. Um, so, we have even more awesome stuff coming up on Zero Page Homebrew on the coming shows. On Friday, we have a developer spotlight on Todd Fermansky, mm -hmm. also known as Revan Tooley, so we'll be playing every single one of his games. Hi, yeah, you're excited <laughs> about that. Yeah. And we have the exclusive world premiere of his new game, Harpy's Curse, Ooh, okay. which looks really, really cool. Mm -hmm. um, so that's going to be uh, Friday, an early show. It's going to be with Darcy. 
Um, then what's planned on October 4th is steps and number game for the 2600. Mm -hmm. See what uh, pops up, maybe something else. And on the next Friday after that, we have Load Runner 2600, <laughs> exclusive world premiere of that. Tanya's here for that. I'm so excited. We did beta testing, so Tanya's very I'm well versed in Load Runner. Well, I that's wouldn't for say sure. that, but I. I'm... She's an expert. Yeah. No. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but I am looking, I'm very looking forward to playing that game, so yes. that's going to be fun. Um, and be we'll be fun. also talking with Dion Olsthorn nice. as well about his brand new game nice. that is licensed by uh, Tozai. Mm. I believe that's what uh, the company is. It's So it's actually um, properly licensed. Mm. Um, full blessing of it. It's that good. <laughs> um, and then we're off to PRGE, Yay! Portland Retro Gaming Expo after that. And so we'll be recording things. We'll be doing short live broadcasts because the Wi-Fi there is really bad. Mm. Probably doing it with just the cell phone. No overlays. It's just us kind of walking around looking at stuff. But we'll be filming uh, developers, um, filming around the Atari Age booth, mm. um, talking with Al, talking with a whole bunch of people. And we have a meetup. If you're going to Portland Retro Gaming Expo, it's going to be on the Saturday, the 15th. It's going to be from 8 p.m. to midnight at Ground Control. Yes. Have some drinks, play some games. Woo! And uh, meet everybody who you haven't met before. Yep. Um, and then um, we're going to play some other games after that. Mm -hmm. um, after we get back, that's probably will change radically by then. New games come out. Um, but uh, probably what we'll have rather, sooner rather than later is ColecoVision Day mm -hmm. because I'm getting the new Retro Game Boys controller for the ColecoVision, okay. an arcade stick controller, nice, which is looks really, really nice. Um, also, Opcode, who jumped in the chat today, yeah. is sending over a Super Games module. And we will be playing my RGB modded ColecoVision on the channel for the first time. I thought we played it before, but we haven't played ColecoVision yet. Excellent. And we'll be playing a brand new game, Moon Cresta, mm -hmm. for the ColecoVision from Opcode Games, as well as Donkey Kong, Pac Man DX, and Gradius. Nice. All use Super Game Module, so nice. they look really, really good. Um, we're going to have an Atari Lynx day sometime in the future. I am currently shipping back the Atari Lynx. You're still trying to work out some issues, eh? The troubleshooting failed, so it has oh, to go no. back to somebody who is more competent at doing things oh, no. with hardware than me. Yeah. Um, and he'll fix it all up, mm. ship it back, and then we'll proceed with Lynx day. Mm -hmm. That'll be a lot of fun. And we'll play some cool Lynx games. Um, and after PRG, we're going to be having Atari Age Day 2022. I believe most of the games that are going to be at PRGE are going to be released in November. Okay. Um, so we'll coincide Atari Age Day Fall Edition. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, with uh, the release of the games in the Atari Age Store. Mm -hmm. um, and then on November 1st, we're going to be playing uh, the ABBUC 2022 entries, probably two days of that some really great Atari 8-bit computer games that have been released for that. Cool. Uh, so much happening, mm. and plus even more that I haven't even scheduled because there's so much going on. So thanks for hanging out for this amazing exclusive world premiere. The game will be released for you guys in a couple weeks. That's going to be so awesome. It's going to be so much fun. I can't wait to see people's um, reactions and yeah. how how they think of the difficulty that I played at. <laughs> it's challenging, but it's good. It needs to be easy to hard. You need yeah. that range for people who want to play super challenging like I want to play. Yep. Or some people want to play it, you know, take it easy and go through the levels. I mean, I still found no, uh, Novice a fairly challenging um, uh, as as the levels ramp yeah. up. So oh, yeah. uh, it's very cool. Yeah, it's very good. Well, thank you for tuning in. Yes. Pseudo Graphics, the game is top notch. Yes. Uh, also, thank you for watching uh, Old Style, Rendered Ghost, Chelsea Don't Out, Opcode Games. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Dan AVC, Vitoko, Trey Guy, Every Tower Collections, Chick Gamer. Chic Gamer? Chic Gamer? Chic. I like uh, chic. <laughs> chic. Uh, 06502. Nostalgic. Uh, Dire 51. 51. Breakfast Gypsy. 
Um, you jazz. Always fun. <laughs> uh, Robocat twenty eighty four. Uh, Robocat twenty eighty four. Great name. Um, who else? Well, scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Yeah. Oh, Camille Freya. Uh, Miss Command. Uh, thank you, Rendered Ghost, for feeding the kitties. Yes. They are very happy about it. Cafe Carl Man, G. If you haven't already said their name. Uh, maybe, maybe not. Uh, Dianoid, who's tuning in on vacation. Oh, very nice. And uh, oh, GL nostalgic Haynes. Nostalgic at the bottom there. Uh, nostalgic. Yeah. And everybody else who is lurking and watch the show. Thank you for making yeah. it uh, so much fun mm -hmm. and uh, asking questions. And uh, just keep an eye on the Atari Age forums for the mm -hmm. release of this game. I will definitely let everyone know. And probably when it's released, that's when we'll do a um, After Dark. Because that makes okay. sense. When everybody else gets it, we can and play we'll it along with really everyone else. we'll try to really get through. Yeah. Try get and get through, through it. And by then, yes. I'll have upgraded my Dragonfly. Hopefully, I'll get that part and mm -hmm. upgrade and we don't get those crashes. And maybe the crash will uh, help uh, diagnose something. Probably not, because you yeah. need to... It, it's, it was recommended highly to upgrade that. Yeah. Um, Fair enough. Fair enough. i got to cash in some of those tree points, but folks keep be beating me to the punch. Oh, keep well, saving them up. Yep. Um, so uh, we'll be back on Friday with the developer Spotlight on Todd Fermansky. Definitely tune in for that, because we mm -hmm. have an exclusive world premiere of his Harpy's Curse. And uh, Darcy will be here. So we will see you then. Yes. Have a great uh, week. week. Yeah. See you on Friday. All right. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye-bye.